Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today I'm going to be um, this, uh, doing my second mirror trick in Final Cut Express. Um, I actually had done this trick before um, with um, still photography and uh, did all the editing and everything, but um, I thought I might give it a shot here in Final Cut Express, so let me go ahead and play this for you. Dude, yeah, it's late night. I'm delirious now, I'll tell ya. Nah, I'm up though. Yeah, 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 I'll be there in a half an hour. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. Alright. Bye. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so anyway. Yeah, it's kinda dumb, but uh... You know, just fooling around, trying to see what I can come up with. I want to play with my new camera some. So, anyway, in Final Cut Express, that's basically how I came up with this. Is um, I recorded everything on one track, okay? And as usual, this is all about composition. So, in order to maintain my composition in my original track, the key thing is that okay. Once I got off the phone and turned around, what the hell? I froze right there, and that gives oh, me. Oh, gotta edit. be delirious. And that gives me an edit point, and then after that, I go straight into mocking myself. Okay, so as you can see, this is one one clip, and um, but the me freezing right there for a moment gave me the perfect edit opportunity. So if you see down here on my timeline, I have my first original clip, which is cropped down. Then I came in and dropped in my second clip, and I did a couple of edits, a couple of crossfades. You might have noticed one. Um, when this is exported to uh, QuickTime, whatever, um, it's actually very good quality, and you can't really notice it at all. Um, although so this is encoded for MPEG for YouTube. Anyway, so um, if you know about uh, wireframe up here, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that wireframe is selected right here and then you're going to come down and select your crop marker and your image once your image is there you want to come over to the side right here and drag this image to wherever you want your split to be I chose right here down the center of this for mine okay so um, when it's actually not selected you can see right there that there's not really any line uh, difference you can't really notice it whatsoever and then when you do your Look, final uh, edit, yeah, 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 I'll be there in a half an hour. Comes through right there. So anyway, very simple trick. I just wanted to share that guys uh, with you guys real quick. And um, if this video helped you out, uh, if you're a newbie to Final Cut Express, there's a ton of different tricks you can do out there. A lot of stuff you can do. Um, I'm learning a lot of new stuff myself. So anyway, if this video helped you out. Uh, Please post a comment. If not, poke Mahone. And as always, peace.